So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could enable console access to uh, CentOS. And uh, my use case for that is obviously that um, if I use PuTTY or any other SSH software, I would like to directly access it through that instead of the virtual box console because it's a uh, or copy and paste, It's uh, you need to install the guest software and all that stuff, uh, and it's usually not very easy on routers uh, and Linux boxes. So here is my CentOS. Um, let's look at the serial interface for that. You gotta enable the serial port, and you gotta do the host pipe. Disable this guy. And when you hover your mouse here, it's gonna show you what you will be using. So you're gonna do the format that you're gonna be using and that's gonna be slash slash dot slash pipe slash backslash and then the virtual machine name which is in my case CentOS2 right here. So I'm just gonna say Cent2, that's the name. So once you do that with any, you know, the first, first com or uh, whichever com you want to choose, I usually leave it to default, choose the host pipe, and then make sure you dis disable the connect to existing pipes slash socket. Put in this information, say OK, start the machine. Once it comes up, log in with your user. And so now what you're gonna do is check system control status, getty at pty s0. And you would see that it's disabled inactive. Now, the whole idea here is for us to use and do a console access, right? So if I have to create this or access the sent to with serial, and I'm going to have to type in the pipe information sent to sent to console, save it. I'm accessing serial, default 9600. Now if I do this, right, um, it's not gonna come up. It's not gonna show up. So now, as soon as I do this, start, watch, pop up, good, now, what you need to do is each time you power up this machine, you need the service to be turned on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do enable Getty at PTY S0. And now I'm gonna reboot it. So it's coming up now after rebooting this becomes inactive. As soon as it boots up, we're gonna do restart session. There you go. So now we didn't have to manually restart the uh, serial interface service. It is now enabled and now you can do a console access. Now again, the use case for this is that you you know, the mouse disappears here, you have to put it in and then, you know, press the control key to release it. You can't copy and paste unless you do that, you know, guess a software installation, which is uh, you know, our process here. If you just access it through serial, you can just copy and paste whatever you want into a document or for your notes. And that is really helpful. Hope this helps.